This is a follow-up on my previous video on knowing your SIM setting. Hi, Remy here. And in this video, we shall understand the different parameters available with SCARF joints. During my test, I didn't find any issues with SCARF joints. Having said that, it is still in beta mode. As of recording this video, I am using the latest version of Orca Slicer that is version 2.0.0 Now let's start SCARF setting are in the same section of SIM under quality in the user preset profile So if this is your user preset profile under quality and SIM and over here we need to enable this option SCARF joint SIM beta or else you can click on this uh, search button and type SCARF and click on this particular option which says uh, beta in bracket this will directly navigate to the same section over here to enable the sim sorry to enable the scarf uh, joint sim before we start on scarf joint settings if you all need to understand the other sim parameters then please check my previous video on know your sim settings link in the description now let's enable this scarf join sim and see what are the different parameters it has to offer so we'll navigate under sim and then we'll enable this option uh, scarf join sim beta we'll click on the drop down and we'll have two op two types of uh, scarf join sim contour and contour and hole um, what's the difference between this exactly i don't know what changes it does to the print uh, i didn't find any difference by uh, selecting this option but what I notice is in the G code uh, for contour it says uh, seam slope type external and for contour and hole it says seam slope type all any of you guys know what's the actual difference it brings to the print do let me know in the comments now let's enable uh, scarf joint sim to contour and these are the following parameters it has to offer we'll go into detail to understand the difference of each parameters first let's understand scarf start height then scarf length and scarf steps so we'll start with scarf start height it is the la layer height at which the scarf join will start for the current layer this value must be lower than the current layer height so this value actually means the height of the nozzle where it will start to print the scarf so this should be lower than the current layer height so we can set this to start let's say if your layer height is 0.2 mm then this should be less than that so it can be like 0.1 so if you set this to more than that okay it gives an error seam slope start height needs to be smaller than the layer height reset to zero so this should be like 0.1 or anything below than the current layer height we'll keep it to zero that's what recommended as default value next we shall see the scarf length so scarf length is basically how long the scarf uh, distance or the length of the scarf must be so during this scarf when it is printing the scarf for this particular length it needs to alter the uh, z height and the amount of filament it needs to extrude next we'll see scarf steps scarf steps is basically the amount of steps it needs to reach to the actual layer height for this entire uh, length so let's say your layer height is 0.2 and if you start with 0 in order to reach to 0.2 mm for the layer height that is how many minimum number of steps it must have in order to reach to the desired layer height 
of 0.2 mm within the distance of 20 mm so we'll uh, just see in a small uh, diagram uh, what exactly these three values mean now let's see in this diagram what exactly uh, this curve means so let's say this is your current layer height it is printing uh, when you normally print uh, without scarf enable so it will let's say it is starting over here it will maintain the same height from here it will maintain the same height come back over here and the loop will be completed over here so from this point over here right over here print and then come back until it reaches here the same height is maintained so when you enable scarf joint uh, first of all consider the green line which you see is where the the nozzle is so this green line what you see over here like this green line and then back over here this green line consider this is where the nozzle is so when when you enable scarf uh, what ex exactly happens is uh, the the z height is incremented based on the number of steps so if you see over here the distance what you have set is 20 mm which is this calf length distance and the steps the steps these are the steps over here this is set to minimum 10 so it can be more than that so minimum number of steps we need to have is 10 so within these steps how many times the z height is uh, leveled up or it is uh, raised and also the amount of filament it needs to ex extrude is increase so when the print head or the nozzle moves from this position to this position the z height will be increased and so the amount of filament it needs to extrude will also increase so this is done uh, based on the steps what we provide the layer height uh, and the length so from here to here so once it moves from this position to over here it will slowly increase the z height and also extrude more filament gradually until it reaches the current layer height thereafter the z height is maintained until the loop is completed but the amount of filament that it extrudes is maintained until this point okay so the filament that needs to be extruded gradually increases till here and from here till the end of the loop over here when it comes over here it maintains the extrusion flow rate once it reaches this point z height remains the same but the filament uh, the amount of filament it extrudes will slowly decreases until it reaches to this point so this is how the scarf uh, mechanism works now let's understand scarf joint speed so this setting over here scarf joint speed you can either set it as a percentage or in mm uh, recommended value is uh, way less than 100 mm so this speed is applicable from this point to this point from the start till the end of this curve at both times like from when, when it starts from here to here uh, the speed should will be 100 or whatever the speed is set over here and when it ends from here to here that time also the speed will be set to this value whatever you whatever is set over here the same speed will be for for this particular uh, print type so from here to here and from here to here from start to this position and from this position to end at both time the speed will be set to this value there are few additional things that we need to know about scarf joint speed so we'll mouse over it and see this option sets the printing speed for scarf joints it is recommended to print scarf joints at a slow speed less than 100 mm per second it's also advisable to enable extrusion rate smoothing if the set speed 
varies significantly from the speed of the outer or inner wall. If the speed specified here is higher than the speed of the outer or inner wall, the printer will default to, slow, to the slower of the two speed. When specified as a percentage, the speed is calculated based on the respective outer or inner wall and the default is 100%. So let's say if your outer or inner wall speed, uh, in my case it is uh, 200 and 300. So if you set this speed, so let's say uh, 350 while doing the inner wall inner wall is 300 and if you set this to 350 so and if you enable scarf joint for inner wall then this speed will be 300 and for outer wall the speed will be 200 but keep in mind the actual speed of the outer wall and the inner wall will be determined by the uh, slicer considering other uh, other factors. So let's see, we'll slice the model and see what is the uh, actual speed set. So we'll keep this to 350 and slice the model. So once you slice the model, click on this drop down and select speed. So now we see over here the speed setting but you can't uh, notice any difference as it has taken the same speed as the uh, outer wall. But if you uh, lower this slider then you will see the speed over here at this particular location the current speed is shown. So we will go to the start of the scarf joint which is here right over here the scarf joint starts and the speed is 34 which is same as the speed of the outer wall now we'll change this to 10 and slice the model now you can see a difference in 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 the speed over here so here the speed is different and here the speed is different so we can see the same when we slice it so over here now the speed is 10 for the outer wall the speed is 62 and when it comes to for the scarf join the speed is 10 which we have set over here now let's see scarf start height we'll slice the model we have set this scarf a uh, scarf start height as 0 so we'll start from the outer wall so the actual z height should be 15.28 for this particular layer so we'll go to the outer wall start position so 15.28 over here if you can see it should be 15.28 now when it starts to print uh, the outer wall it starts from 15.092 so it, it is not starting at the same height it has lowered the nozzle and it will start from 15.02 as you advance ahead this will slowly increase and also the uh, filament extrusion will increase so we'll see this over here if you see it is uh, 0 0.92 it has increased here 1.05 and also note the uh, extrusion, extrusion the filament it has uh, increased from 0 0.0022 to point 004441 so this will continue till this particular point that is distance of 20 mm from here to here it will gradually increase and once it reaches over here the z height will be at its normal position at the current layer height so, so if you see here z 15.28 which is the actual layer height and also the extrusion flow rate will be maintained until it reaches to this position so once it comes to this position from here to here it will do an overlap or it will print on top of the previously printed 
uh, layer on the same layer actually uh, in order to complete the scarf so when it prints from here to here the height will be same which is uh, 15.28 but the extrusion will be reduced so we'll see that also over here if you see the z height is 15.28 but uh, the extru now we'll we'll notice the extrusion part since the z height remains the same we'll see we'll focus on the extrusion part so now uh, it has reduced now it has further reduced so likewise it will keep on reducing until it it comes to this particular position next we'll see scarf around entire wall so if you enable this option and slice the model what it does is instead of uh, the 20 mm length it will do a scarf for the entire wall so from here 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 and back over here if you see here scarf length is auto disable once you enable this over here this gets disabled so this is basically what it does is that particular current layer will be uh, printed twice for the entire uh, wall uh, increasing gradually um, i i would not recommend this i have done the test i don't see any uh, major improvement or uh, basically the print remains the same whether you enable this or or you don't the print quality is the same next we shall see scarf joint for inner walls if you enable this and slice the model it will do the same thing but but for the inner wall as well uh, it's not required to enable this but the option is there uh, but keep in mind if you enable this uh, your print time will increase slightly now let's see conditional scarf joint once you enable this option conditional scarf joint we get two additional parameters the first one says angle threshold and the second one is overhang uh, threshold let's understand angle threshold so we'll slice this model to get a better understanding so the value defined over here and the angle the the angle over here so this is a square so it's a 90 degree so if the angle that it is printing is less than the value defined over here so if this value is is greater than this particular printing angle it will go for a normal sim if this value is is same or less than the printing it will go for a uh, scarf joint so if you now this is a 90 degree angle so if you set this to 91 and slice the model it will still do uh, a normal sim joint so we'll slice this normal same if you set this to 90 or less then it will go for a uh, scarf joint so it does a scarf joint over here so it will start over here and 20 mm distance and then do uh, the scarf so th from here to here this will be a scarf joint next we shall see conditional overhang threshold so what are the changes over here so we'll slice this model with a value of 40 so here if the overhang so the overhang percentage is greater than 40 it will do uh, a scarf joint otherwise it will do a normal uh, sim if we set this to 20 slice the model and if you see here so from this layer to this layer it will do a normal sim and then from this layer over here it will do a scarf joint one thing i would like to highlight here uh, let's slice the model first now if you see over here for the scarf joint the scarf joint will start from here till here so this particular distance uh, the length of 20 mm 
is this calf joint so it starts over here and over here and stops over here on the actual print this particular scarf joint when it stops so when it completes completes the loop from here to here and then when it overlaps here for the scarf to complete the scarf joint and when it ends ends over here over here the print quality is good you you can't see you can't feel it but at the start so when, when once it stops over here then it will come back over here and start again over here uh, though you can't feel it but you can see it so uh, if, if you touch it you don't feel that much it's very very uh, very light actually it's you can see same thing for the spear so if you notice here from here to here this is the scarf joint so it starts over here and it ends the scarf over here so this particular scarf joint over here this is not visible at all but when it starts over here this entire uh, start line start time uh, this is clearly visible so when it starts to uh, lay the filament from here it is traveling like this then this calf joint and it resumes the normal print and then it comes back over here and from here again it will print on the same previously laid layer to complete the scarf so this is not visible but over here this is clearly visible the start now let's see few test print so this is uh, this is a test print with the uh, scarf uh, disabled so this is like normal sim on the spear the normal sim is at this position and this is on the square it's at the corner over here a line and on a circle this is the normal sim now let's see a test print where scarf joint sim is enabled it is sort it is set to contour and conditional scarf joint is disabled other parameter speed is set to 100 length is 20 step 10 and retraction is set to 0.6 mm you do need to tune your retraction if you disable retraction if you set this to zero then the start of the sim over here this position which i also highlighted uh, previously this will be clearly visible if you touch it you can feel feel like a hump so do get your retraction uh, set properly after that you can uh, play around with these values uh, the default values are quite good, good enough to start with if required you can tune it but default value is very much uh, good enough for the for the print uh, here you can see these are the default values itself i did change these values but uh, i i didn't i didn't find uh, major improvement in quality it's it's the same so default value should be good enough over here this is the start of the print so it the scarf uh, start of the scarf uh, uh, length so from here till here it is 20 okay this is the at a different angle but start over here now we'll zoom in over here or enlarge this and see now from here to here if you see the uh, the print is little bit different than compared over here after the scarf that's because for the scarf joint it overlaps on top of each other and you will see uh, multiple lines uh, then over here so it's it's a thicker line the actual uh, layer height uh, starts from here and from here to here the height the incremented value you will see that is why you see uh, more lines uh, over here in this particular area uh, 20 mm then over here if you see here so this is the scarf length which is 20 so that 20 is from here to here it does that scarf and then it does a normal print now let's see another test print where scarf same joint is enabled set to contour but over here conditional scarf joint is enabled so this is set to true and the angle threshold is 155 and overhang threshold is 40 
so over here for the circle you don't see any difference it's the same but over here if you see now the scarf joint is not there so since the angle is less than the threshold value it will go for a normal sim so this is a normal sim it starts from here and go all all over around and then stops over here there is no scarf joint over here here there is another test print with scarf join sim enable but the difference here is the sim position is random so this position is random over here the, you can see the print quality it's not good so sim position with a line is much better over here without doing any tuning this is another test print both are same but at a different angle over here if you see the spear this is the start of the sim and over here this is the end of the sim where the scarf join ends so if you see it is like this over here it's not uh, visible uh, that much even if you if you even if you touch it you can't feel it but at the start over here it's very much visible and right at the bottom over here if you touch it you can feel it uh, over here no you can't feel that so this is how the uh, scarf sim joint uh, uh, happens for a spear